Hi there, I'm Shane from Email Signature Rescue and in this video I'll be showing you how to install your email signature in Apple Mail on macOS High Sierra. Firstly, you want to have your HTML email signature file saved in your device. If you're an Email Signature Rescue member, then you can download it from your dashboard or if you've had it emailed to you, then save it in a location which is easily accessible. Go ahead and open up Apple Mail and then from the top toolbar, select Mail and Preferences. In your preferences window, you'll see a number of tabs across the top here. We want to select signatures. And then on the left window pane, select the email account that you want to install your email signature for and click the plus icon. Go ahead and give your signature a name. I'm going to name mine, my new signature. And just beneath the right window here, make sure you uncheck, always match my default message font. At this stage, we want to go ahead and open up our email signature file. Open up Finder and navigate to where your signature is saved. Then go ahead and open it with either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. The reason we can't use Safari here is that Safari contains a bug that will ruin the formatting of your email signature if you install it in Apple Mail. Now that my signature is open in Google Chrome, I'm going to go ahead and press Command and A to select all, and then Command and C to copy the signature. Alternatively, you can use the edit menu at the top here. Once copied, Switch back to Apple Mail, press Ctrl A and hit delete, and then Ctrl V to paste your signature. You'll notice that the images displays boxes. This is completely normal and isn't how your signature will look when you actually compose an email. Once you've inserted your signature, it will automatically select that signature as the default for that account, so long as you don't have any others installed. You can close out of your preferences and compose a new email, and you'll see that your email signature is being inserted correctly. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe or follow us on social media. If you had any trouble installing your email signature by following this guide, then feel free to leave a comment below and we'll do our best to help you out.